G'day comrade subscribers, thanks for hanging around, it's good chatting to everyone again. Um, following on from yesterday's Sinclair QL, I thought that this was also quite interesting. It's a QXL 2B card, so it's basically a Sinclair QL on an ISA board. Um, so yeah, interesting. Uh, it's got a Motorola 68040. So, if you have a look, um, it's the EC variant. So, the EC variant doesn't have an MMU, a memory management unit, or a floating point unit, FPU. Now, apparently, it was designed for embedded use, um, but didn't really see much use, apparently, because at that stage, a uh, 68040 was more than enough, was more power than required, or something. Anyway, so this is the embedded version of the 68040. Then we've got uh, an Altera. I don't know if it's a FPGA or CPLD, but you can see it's labeled QXL glue. And we have something similar down here, a, a GAL or a PAL QXL deck. So I don't know if that's a decoder or something like that. A dip switch, some, I guess, glue logic. We've got two uh, Q, QL LAN ports which the original Sinclair QL also has so apparently you can use this to well you know talk to a QL and up here we've got a bank of uh, 256 kilobyte memory modules so there's 16 in total giving four megabytes so it's a uh, it's a pretty decent um, it's a pretty decent Sinclair QL uh, we've got, um, I think it runs at 40 megahertz. I don't know, because I haven't actually seen much information on the card itself, but the um, the crystal here is rated at 40 megahertz. Interesting way of mounting it. <laughs> Just using a, um, a normal dip socket and then using a bit of um, a cable tie to hold it in place. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, you can see that these are... 256k uh, kilobyte uh, memory modules. I don't think there's anything really on the back apart from um, the company Miracle Systems Limited QXL 2B. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, apparently it's pretty simple. You you whack it into an IBM with a 16-bit ISA um, um, spare ISA uh, socket. Uh, slot slot socket and um, run the uh, run the program qxl.exe or something like that sms q dot something anyway and um, it's basically like a virtual machine it keeps all of its ql related files in in a qxl.win file so it doesn't affect anything else on on your computer uh, it just uses your computer for um, you know for keyboard for hard drive for for video so I've got a few older machines. Um, chuck it in one and see if it works. Okay, oh, that's another muggy day here in port. So I've got this compact machine. Oh, you, no, don't look at that. Look at this. I've got this compact machine, uh, don't know. I've, I've got an IBM 300GL as well, which I was hoping to use, but it's got, uh, is it PCI? The one that came after ISA? I'm not talking about MCA. I don't think they're MCA slots. Uh, well, I assume, no, they're not, it's not PS2. Um, PCI slots, is that right? I'm not sure. But this one's got ISA slots. So a floppy drive, compact CD-ROM, and, oh, that's cool how they've got spare screws there. Oh, so I've got a HP IB interface and a uh, compact flash in there. So I think this one, I think it runs Windows 2000. I think I've got that installed. Oh, Windows XP, I guess. Um, so it looks quite modular modular 
although there's only two slots there and I need obviously a slot that, uh, I mean external slot so I think I might go get the go get the fan again let me just get this out of the way over there so this is somehow modular all right oh, let me fiddle oh, fiddle around with this um i think it just comes up like that does it yeah okay okay got disconnect the compact flash card um oh okay so it's just got a single looks like it's got a single ISA slot and then the rest of these PCI or whatever came out after that so I'm gonna have to take take the uh oh HBIB card out and stick the QXL card in and then hopefully just copy the um copy the software onto the compact flash card and it should run <laughs> I guess okay that goes in there like that so yeah I need to I've got a I've got a few of these 1986 all right All right, so yeah, but it's definitely 16 bit. As I say, we'll stick it in the. Oh, we've got a battery in here. I wonder if this battery, battery might be dead, dead by now. Hasn't been running for a while. Is it a CR2 2430? All right, I'll make a note of that. Get a new one of those. All right, let me get this card installed. And then I'll go download the software. CR. And. Um, Find a keyboard and a mouse, I guess, and um, see if it works. Okay, I've got the card installed, but there's a small problem because of the QL QL LAN ports. The um, uh, the uh, the the thingamabig. It's um, not really sitting in right because these are in the way. I'm gonna have to file out, I guess, make a bit of a do a little bit of filing. Alright. I think that is looking much better. Okay, so I'll uh I did go to use the Dremel, but I can't get the bloody collet lock off, which is great. I haven't even <laughs> I only just bought it. I'm gonna have to take that back tomorrow. Anyway, alright, so let me get this back on. Somehow, and then I'm going to copy across the software. And um, <laughs> so I don't know if this machine works, but I guess it did work when I was last using it. it says I've got Windows XP on there, but I don't know if I um, installed Linux or something. Okay, there we go. Ready to go. Um, so goes back in like that. Reconnect. Ah, should have, <laughs> have a bit of need to reconnect the reconnect the compact flash. All right, we have to put compact flash card. All right, I'll be back. Right. So let's see if this works. I've got a ancient Microsoft mouse. Uh, it's USB, but I do have USB ports on here. WinXP did support USB. Uh, I've got a Logitech, uh, Finnish Logitech keyboard that I bought. <laughs> well, you can tell by the yellowing. I bought this in Finland, well, 24, 23 years ago. So I'm going to have to change the... Um, but it's got a... Um, so the mouse I had had a uh, PS2 mouse adapt USB to PS2 mouse adapter, but it's got USB, so I don't need to use that. 
but this one's got a ps2 keyboard uh plug so i thought well yeah keep that one so it's plugged in and i power it on somehow where's the on off switch dum, dum, dum. all right i might i do not know it's on the front oh yes it's this button here <laughs> Power on, power is on. Does the case have to be on? Uh, maybe the case has got to be on. That's annoying. So, um, hopefully this doesn't turn into a compact troubleshooting. <laughs> so I can see. That is flashing. <laughs> um, labeled CR15 I guess and there is a plug um, for it but I don't <laughs> everything's plugged in so I don't know if that means that the battery's dead and I should pull the battery out maybe so I'm going to give that a try um, yeah but it was working so uh, but I think that was probably before I moved to Port Macquarie about five years ago um, all right <laughs> let's try it taking the battery out that LED is still just blinking and you can hear a tiny little, it's not a click, but a tiny little bit every time it flashes. So I don't know if it, maybe a fuse is blown. I don't know. Uh, there is a switch on the side here that was pushed out. And I've pushed it in, so obviously it gets pushed in when the case is on. So I don't know if that's anyway. Still dead. Oh man, <laughs> I don't want to troubleshoot this. It was working perfectly fine. It's all set up, ready to go. What else could it be? Even know what type it is compact Queensland rail okay this has come from Queensland rail there we go um, I don't really know what model compact it is um, So I have to pull out it's all modular which is pretty good all right let me pull out the pull out the damn power supply connect only to yeah all right let me pull out the power supply all right so there's nothing <laughs> actually i shouldn't have undone that anyway so there's nothing obvious that i can see on the power supply the only thing i can think of so yeah so it's a compact pentium 2 board um only thing i can think of is maybe it requires a battery to you know a, a proper um a valid ba a charged battery maybe it requires a charged battery before it will boot so i don't know what that is there um but maybe that's the problem so it's a bit too late to go out and get a because I don't have any of these handy. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go out tomorrow and get one. But I think I assume that's the that's the issue. Why it's not um, powering up at all. Because that little lamp LED there, CR15. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should um <laughs> What is this one? This one is three volts. Maybe I should just hook up three volts here on the power supply. Maybe, maybe. No, I'll wait till tomorrow. All right, sorry. Um, maybe tomorrow.
So um, to be continued.